start putting the film together as a movie just with storyboards um, as soon as we can after, after a script is done. So I'd say the first time we looked at it as a movie was 2007 in May. Um, and it was, um, we, we did that a few times in 2007, and by 2008 we were ready to really start thinking about casting. And so we, we knew who we wanted and started having those meetings in 2008 and 2009. Um, and we had the movie cast um, by then, around 2009. Um, end of 08, I think we were cast, and we started doing sessions. And we start by just, you know, going to, like, we spent a lot of time stage B. The, the local, like, Kevin McKidd, because he's on Grey's Anatomy, so he works in LA, and Craig Ferguson, because he does a nighttime show, he's in LA. We would do them at stage B at Disney, which is um, on the Disney lot. And, and the first sessions were like, um, just getting to know the character. And you know, with computer animation, it looks terrible until it's done. So the whole way you've got like, almost nothing in the show. It's like, hey, here's some polygons. It's going to be great. <laughs> um, and uh, so what we do is we take a lot of de development art and I make just a, a beautiful art packet from the art department of sketches and, and storyboards. And like, trust us, it'll be great. <laughs> but we really don't have much to show. So it's really the actress with this leap of faith that it's going to be great. Um, but we talk about who the character is and, you know, um, uh, what's the character's history, how they fit into the story. But the actors are really working fairly blind. We don't give them a full script. We only give them their pages. We give a hint of the story, but um, we can't show them much. It's, it's, and then we're really asking them to work with us. And they're alone in that booth. They have questions about it all together. No, it's very isolated. It's like, hi, it's you and a microphone and, you know, the director. And I'm, I'm you know, behind glass, you know, uh, um, writing things in a, in a, in kind of outside, outside the booth. And it's... Um, it's, you know, hard work. We book anyone from three to five hours for a session, and they, they go through all the lines on their page, and then we make them do another page of just what we call vocalization. So impact noise, grunt, sniffle, sneeze, you know, choke, belch, name it. Like, we fit all this stuff because we're not shooting live action where you get things on the set with your camera. I mean, nothing comes free. We have to invent it all. So we record it all. We take it back to, to our editors, and then they put it in a sound library. And then every time you have an impact in the movie, it's like, I need that Craig Ferguson grunt. I have that here. We've got it in, you know, <laughs> impact. And Mark um, directed Emma Thompson. I remember in London once, and it's like, um, Emma, I'm going to need a lot of different impact noises. Um, and she said, well, what do you mean? And he said, well, let's do it this way. I will name a part of the body. You make the sound you would make if you got hit there. 